guess I'm going to start with you've been around for quite some time and want to find out what about those old techniques? Are they still valid? Writing a content, researching for months, knowing about your customers, or they are all gone, gone away because now we have Twitter and who really cares about keyword research? Um, should you be still following those five, six steps, doing the research, writing the content, thinking about architecture, search engine friendly sites, quality links, as, as the fundamental for your site? Well, now I don't have a lot to say. Uh, fundamentally, all the things you've just mentioned, all of them are, are what everybody, true? absolutely true. Uh, it turns out the algorithm, at least at Google and I'm sure everywhere else, uh, 128 factors are based on those elements. What There are some new elements, there are some changes, there are more competitors, there's more uh, opportunity to uh, excel in some areas. Uh, I think that the technology supports at a better level, for instance, videos than it ever used to and mm -hmm. things like that. So we're seeing some shift. But everything you used to do is exactly what you still need to do. If you make your site the best it can be, people will still visit you, people will still use you, people will still tell two friends. You have to have a competent site or you're not going to be perceived as a social uh, destination. You're not going to be perceived as a search engine uh, expert on the subjects of the keywords that are used to find you. And you have to be those things. So what we have found is you focus first on the on-page factors, all the things you've just mentioned, all of them. You have to be able to do them. You have to do them in the right balance. Uh, if you don't, you disqualify yourself from any other consideration. There's plenty of things that you've got to focus on. Great, thank you so much. Okay, so second question is that we talked about on-page factor. Now let's talk about off-page factors. And last, let's talk about links. And we all know links are really important for quality links, getting links. So what we have done is we have taken links and really divided links in probably six buckets. And these six, six buckets could be links coming from local websites, links coming from directories, links coming from search engine feeds, even though they are feeds, but they are search engine feeds. Um, links coming from national directories, uh, links coming from niche directories. Let's say you are focused on uh, pet friendly and we are bringing quality links from there. And then apart from then, links coming from authoritative sites, which are authority in that subject matter. Now, what is the value of, you know, really taking all of this and putting that as part of your link strategy? Is it just, getting link from one of this bucket is enough? What is your opinion? Um, well, certainly all of those are appropriate. I think it is more dependent upon the nature of the site, which you should emphasize at any one time. Um, if you can get links from all of those sources, that's fine. We find that, and we refer to it as expertness. Links help the search engines determine that you know what you're talking about, because these are other sites that have voted for you as being relevant, worthy of that link, mm -hmm. right? So inbound links is a, a very large part of SEO. It is part of what helps the search engines understand you're an expert. Mm -hmm. uh, we find also that the way the internal links within the site are managed plays a large part in it. It has an equal weighting in the Google PageRank algorithm. So internal links pass PageRank just as well as an external link coming to your site. And Google has also announced that if you don't link out to other experts, and in the case of a hotel, link out to the Chamber of Commerce or link out to an expert link within out from, your site. from your site to another expert within the area, you aren't demonstrating that you're an expert. Experts are supposed to know what other experts look like. So outbound links mm -hmm. are a key part of demonstrating that you're a subject matter expert. We have found cases where sites don't have outbound links at all and they have a problem ranking, serious problem ranking, where you add a couple to non-competing but locally expert sites. Um, you know, as I said, the Chamber of Commerce, the uh, local travel bureau, you can link to a couple of experts within the area without going crazy 
and your ranking will actually go up because you're better perceived as being a participant on the internet. And Google actually has weighted that. They've commented on it at conferences. Uh, they encourage everybody to do it, I think, in moderation. There's no ratio, one inbound link to one outbound link. I mean, there's no predefined determination as to how much, but having outbound links really helps. So that's new. So that means no follow outbound links or follow. just follow. So we are not losing page rank because of outbound links. You don't ever lose page rank. Page rank, the way the formula works, is page rank is accumulated on a page. It is then also passed, but the page rank keeps the page rank. An example would be look at the home page of your site. Mm -hmm. Well, it links to other si uh, pages within your site. If it passed all its page rank, the home page would have a page rank of zero. Clearly it doesn't. So a page keeps its page rank and then almost clones it. It, it duplicates it and passes it to the people it links to. So it's the internet way of printing money, I guess. You, you earn your page rank and then you pass page rank equally, which is why having a very high page rank site linked to you is so much more important than having a low page rank site linked to you. If, if somebody's a page rank eight and they link to you, they haven't given up their page rank, but you've gotten some, and that's the way it works. So page rank is not lost ever. It doesn't link in any way it doesn't leak out of your site it you get to keep your page rank you also get to to link to other sites so linking to a chamber of commerce site you don't have to worry about losing page rank go ahead and link to them it, it works fine your page rank is not going to be diminished by it but you are going to get credit for that outbound expert link okay. great that's that's good to know uh, so let me ask you as in uh, you are a you are a very well-known SEO agency, and what are some of the key performance metrics? A uh, lot of time, customers will still come and say, "Hey, uh, you know, I'm not ranking high," and then you get, you know, you try to tell them it's not about ranking; it's about quality traffic, and then they are getting this email or a fax from a company which is guaranteeing them top ten ranking. There has to be some standard. Let's let's pick three things which should be a key performance metrics for a partner you are working with. I'll, I'll start with a comment. You're absolutely right. Uh, traffic is what is important. Uh, Google has clearly also said that if an SEO company were to contact you guaranteeing you page rank, that unless that SEO company also owned controlling interest in Google, <laughs> there's a real good chance they could not guarantee you anything. Okay. Uh, and Google clearly uh, is not in the business of entertaining SEO companies and making them do well. Google's in the business of providing relevant content to a query so that that user will come back and query again. So Google is not at all biased uh, towards helping in any way, shape, or form. Uh, <laughs> SEOs that guarantee things. And in fact, Google on its own website in the Webmaster Tools area actually tells you that you must ignore guarantees because they're totally fraudulent. Okay. Now, I'll tell you how it works. I'll guarantee you that I can get you a ranking in the top 10 for your site. No problem. So you type in the company name entirely. How many of them are there? You? Poof. I just made my guarantee. Now, if I guarantee you a keyword, and the keyword is not a well-trafficked keyword, what good is that? I mean, the reason you're spending money is to get an, ad an advertising benefit from it. I'll give you money if you give me traffic that's in equal or greater value. So SEO for keywords that don't matter is a waste of time. Um, so. In order to successfully measure SEO, you shouldn't look at rankings, because rankings could be for words that nobody ever searches on or seldom searches on. Or what that you, might change. Or that might change, it absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what you